1967. It was the summer of love. In most places. In Newark, New Jersey, it was a summer of strife. During that hot July, the city experienced the worst violence to hit the state since the Revolutionary War. Five days of rioting killed 26 people and physically destroyed a large portion of the city. The emotional and psychological toll was even greater. Now, for the first time, a filmmaker turns an unbiased lens on these events and the ongoing debate as to what happened and why. The pressure was building within a black community that felt disenfranchised and they wanted things to change. When we were having Afros and having African names and doing these things, this was a, an attempt to reclaim our authenticity. So, of course, this frightened white people, it frightened black people. In this office, there was an administration um, that was running things in a way uh, that clearly was undermining large, soon to be majority uh, uh, African American uh, uh, population here. That kind of pressure that caused that riot is a little bit like an earthquake and that the pressure is pretty much the same day to day but one day you know like a grain of sand slips and then two rush in and next thing you know buildings are coming down. There's no single reason for the riot. There were multiple reasons. They took years, maybe a generation to fall into alignment and they were triggered by some incidents such as the alleged beating of John Smith. The taxi cab driver was locked up by the cops. Someone started an erroneous rumor that the police in the 4th Precinct had beaten him to death. Some guy drove a car right into Flax's furniture store and the looting began. I went out on the streets with uh, people from the prosecutor's office. Uh, I had a loaded gun with, with my hand almost on the trigger. Was I scared? Yeah. There was nothing high-minded going on. It was stealing, burning, burning other people's properties, destruction of property. And all the clothing on the main floor was taken. All the mannequins were broken, the glass, it was, it was horrible. Everybody was out of control. They were just doing whatever they wanted to do. We saw people breaking into windows and stealing stuff, carrying televisions down the street. Those are the avenues that are left to people when they don't have another way to address their grievances. We Americans see the Boston Tea Party as this kind of rise of discontent against the crown. Well, the people in England saw it as a riot. It's very difficult for me to understand how people can understand that when we talk about the American Revolution and not understand that when we're talking about black people fighting against their oppression. The third day, we, we started getting a lot of gunfire. When I became a fireman, I knew that it was difficult, physical, dangerous work at times, but I never suspected that I would ever be shot at. There was something over the radio that, you know, a fireman had been shot. I remember the next door neighbor rushing downstairs and with kind of a look of terror in her face. It was just surreal that something was happening that I probably was in a state of shock. My mother was so afraid that she got eight kids. She had us under the bed hot. And I remember bullets and stuff coming through and it was a sad time. After the riots, the city was a different place. So first of all, there was a lot of burned out buildings, empty streets all over the place from fire ravaged buildings. A lot of homeless, a lot of crime I think came after that too because people's lives were disrupted. But the biggest problem was there was nowhere to go shop, supermarkets, you know, there was nowhere to buy food. Stores were closed, boarded up, it was, uh, a really sad situation there for a while. City has its worst nightmare. It has a perfect storm. Some people said, okay, let's pick up where we left off. For many New Jersey residents, it was a period that permanently redrew the landscape of their lives. How they picked up the pieces and moved on is the focus of this new film. Hear from the people who were there learn the facts behind the arguments and the rumors, and judge for yourself. See how Newark and its neighbors regrouped after the week that changed the world. Mm -hmm.